Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. So this is where we left the MDUV 380 a few days ago. Played with the radio. You're having fun getting on those analog repeaters. And now you're ready to investigate DMR. DMR, it's a good system. It's a big system. It's a complicated file to set up to get into the system and to get what you want. It's not impossible. It's just a tad complicated. So let's get started. This is my analog and I'm going to be adding digital. That'll all happen at the bottom of the file. This file is a perfectly good one to work in. And if you want to keep all your analog, you have to work in this file. But the first thing you want is right down here at the bottom where it says contacts. There's one contact in there because the radio can't stand for this list to be totally empty. But what else do you put in? What do you do next? You do a couple of things. One, you talk to your friends who are on DMR and you find out what talk groups there are. Because this is like everybody having their own swimming pool. And if everybody has one, you have nobody to play with because you don't know whose pool they gathered at. So you have nobody to talk to. But if you find out that Johnny's got the best pool and we're all going to Johnny's pool at 314, then you've got a whole crowd to play with. Yes, it's a real simplistic example, but it gives you an idea of what you're looking for. So I'm going to bring up an internet browser. And first of all, I'm looking for the repeaters. And I happen to bring up California. This is from Repeater Books page. And right down here, he has DMR repeaters. And I'm going to search for California. What I brought this up for is this DMR IPSC. This is the DMR connection group that the repeater is a part of. Notice how many of them say Brandmeister. Here's a Mountain West and a NorCal. So many of them say Brandmeister. So let's work in Brandmeister and go to Brandmeister Talk Groups. And I just search for Brandmeister Talk Groups, literally. Brandmeister Talk Groups. Brandmeister Talk Groups. Just typed it in. It took me to it. And here I am in the U.S. Took some scrolling to get to this, but here I am. And let's look at these. Let's go up a page. Everything says U.S. here. And notice all of these that have 10-minute limits. Well, that's no fun. And all of these that say no nets. Well, I'm not going to find who I want to talk to there. So let's go to the next page. Now we're a little better. If I want to talk to folks in Arkansas, I want to listen to Alaska Skywarn. If I'm not in Alaska, I might want to stay out of the way, but I can listen. Here's an Alaska talk around group. Here's an Alabama talk around group. This is the number I need. So I jot that number down, and Alaska might be a whole lot of fun, be interesting. And I go down through here and literally write down the ones I want. Here's North Georgia. That's a group for me. And here's South Georgia. You get the idea. So I have searched through here and found a list that I want to get started with. You always have to have a place to start. And I come back over to the program. 
The first one is a space holder, as in many things that the radio needs. It's not sacred, it just needs to be programmed. These are all group calls. And I start at the top of my list and I type them in. Making your name a good abbreviation because you're going to use it later. And I get them all typed in there. It only takes a minute or two. And I save the file. I think I told you in the first video, you save this file repeatedly because these are all so interconnected. Now I'm going to go back to zones. And the new zone is digital 1467 because that's the repeater I'm going to be using. There's nothing to put in it right now, but there will be. I'll show you that in just a second. Now that I have all my pieces together in this file, reviewing real quick, that's contacts, the zone created because I'm going to use it in a minute. I'm ready to enter memories for my local DMR repeater. The programmer has a built-in DMR calculator to do that process for me because I need a channel for each talk group. So I can easily move between the talk groups looking for activity. But building those one at the time, having to check on each detail to make sure I have it right when I only want to change talk groups between them could be a little tedious. I'm going up to Settings, down to DMR Calculator. My frequency is 146.70. It's a minus offset. I have all these talk groups. I'm going to let it use the talk group name as the name of the channel. That's the most recognizable piece for me. I'm going to start at channel 128, 127. The next one is 128. Color code on this repeater is 1 and repeater slot is one. A note about color code and repeater slot or time slot. The color code for repeater will be included in the published information from repeater book or radioid.net. It's a very important number. It's like tone on an analog repeater. If you don't have it right, the repeater will not allow your signal. Repeater slot or time slot will be specified in the information for the repeater. If it is, you want to look for TS1 or TS2 that allows experimentation or that is not specified for another activity. If a time slot is not specified, use time slot 1. This is traditionally the time slot used by repeaters for general activities and traffic. Now, moving on with the rest of what we need in the calculator to get these channels set up. I'm going to assign these to digital 14670 and click apply. And you don't see it because it has gone off the screen, but it's setting all those channels up for me. Channels added successfully and tell it OK. Close this. I now have my channels with everything set up the way I wanted it. And they're in a zone, which is required for programming on these DMR radios. Save this up. Do communications and send data to radio. Tell it OK. And you will be on the air and talking to friends possibly all over the world having all kinds of fun with DMR. Setup is just that easy. Contacts, a zone to put them in, memory channels, your DMR ID, and it's just a matter of collecting that information 
and then putting it in the file where the programmer asks for it. We'll be sure that it gets to the radio like it's supposed to. I hope all this helps. I hope to hear you on the air real soon. This is Karen. Remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.